Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided that I would do a sort of everyday makeup look. This is something that I would normally wear every day. I love the idea of dark smoky eyes. I know it looks probably a little bit silly but this is just the way that I've done it. I've done it for a while now. And actually it is a daily makeup routine and I know that this camera isn't perfect but it's good enough for me and at the moment and I wouldn't change it so it doesn't really focus. I do have the autofocus on but still not really making a difference. Um, I just used neutral colours for the eyes, um, really black eyeliner and I got some browns into the crease and smudged them as well. Wearing a light bronzer, this is for blondes and it's by Essence and a nude mauve sort of lipstick. It is nude but as I explained in the video it does seem to have pink and mauve undertones to it. Also the same for the lip gloss which I have here and it's not really bringing any colour off of it at the moment. But same there but it's a really nice lipstick and as you can see it is pretty funky on the lips sort of reminds me of the Lime Crime um, from where I'm sitting, the sort of Lime Crime lipstick that I did see. Um, I watched a video the other day of someone's haul and they bought two things from Lime Crime. I can't remember what the name was but I'll um, think of it one day and I'll let you know who it was. She um, went to the LA IMATS haul which I've never ever been to but well obviously not in LA but not a IMATS ever even in Sydney. I know a couple girls from whoops, the Australian YouTube um, sort of beauty guru world definitely went, e.g. Shell Barbie and Beauty by Brittany X. Jody K76 also went and um, a few other people that I can't quite remember the names but they're the three girls that I follow the most. Um, they also went. But anyway, this look is inspired by my everyday makeup and I'm going to stop rambling and get on with the tutorial. See you at the end of the video. So first of all, all I did was I just put in a couple bobby pins just to remove the hair from around my face. You can put extra in if you wish. Now I'm going to be using some hand sanitizer simply because I'm not using brushes today and I'll just sanitize my hands before and after when I've finished the whole entire makeup look. So spritz them into your hands. You can use brushes if you wish for this tutorial or you could just use your hands. Just remember to use a hand sanitizer gel before you start applying your makeup. The makeup I'm using today is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. This is one of my recommended foundations. I absolutely love this foundation for coverage. Next, I'm just going to be grabbing some Ramel Stay Matte Powder and just popping that all over my face. Now I'm going to use concealer. I know this is a weird way of doing makeup, but this is how I do my makeup. I always forget to conceal before I do my powder. So I'm going to conceal any areas that I have and under my eyes as well. So conceal as normal. Now I'm going to apply some powder foundation over the top of that mix, but before that I'm going to be quickly putting on a little bit more foundation and then I'm going to be applying some powder. Now I'm going straight into the eye makeup and for that we're going to need an eyeshadow primer if you wish or you could use one of the Maybelline color tattoos and some nice eyeshadow gloss. 
we are going to be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tupel and I'm going to zoom in some more. So, take your Maybelline Color Tattoo and apply that. Now we're going to be going in with some colours and I do have this really gorgeous shadow book which is by Designer Brands and we're going to be using the colours from this side so the neutral side. I'm going to be starting off with a nice creamy shadow so a cream looking shadow and the shadow we're starting off with is this one here and you're just going to want to put that all over your lid Next, I'm going to be using the colour underneath that, and it is a sandy sort of colour, more of a coral colour, and I'm going to be putting that in the crease and using a window washer movement. Don't worry too much if it's not perfect, we're going to be blending it through. Next, I'm going to be using this brown over here in the corner, and also put that in the crease as well. Just on the third here, so just about to there and across to make a little semicircle in this area here. Now what I'm going to do is blend those colours together and just blend them. Now I'm going to be applying some white eyeshadow to the crease and no, to under the brow bone, sorry, <laughs> and the inner corner. Next I'm going to be applying some eyeliner by face of Australia and I'm just going to be using this for the bottom lash line. Just to about there. And you can also use white eyeliner just to enhance your eyes a little bit more. And also I'm going to be applying some black eyeliner on the top lash line. I'm going to be smudging that out just a smidgen with a little smudge brush. Oops. And now if you wish you can also reapply your um, eyeshadow which I'm going to quickly do. So while I was gone I also filled in my brows. Now I'm going to be applying some mascara and I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume but before I do that I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and I'm going to be applying the mascara so a couple coats for your top and a coat for the bottom lashes and that's there for the mascara also if you wish you can apply false lashes so now that we're done with the eye makeup, I'm going to go back into the face with some bronzer. And today's bronzer I'm going to be using is the Essence Sun Club bronzer in blonde. So it is a matte finish. And this was in one of the products I would recommend. But we're going to be applying it along where we would put our blush, so along your cheekbone, and blend it. And you can also apply some on your temples and where the sun naturally hits. Considering we are nearly finished this daily makeup routine, I am going to be applying some lipstick. And the lipstick is just a really nice nude colour. So you don't really want 
that much otherwise you're going to look like a Barbie doll with pink lips so I'm going to be getting rid of some of that with some tissue that still didn't really seem to make a difference but that's okay and on top of that I'm going to be applying some clear gloss which is quite similar to the lipstick itself and actually it was a Maybelline lipstick that I have which is quite similar to the nude one that I just used this is just a Maybelline lip gloss I think it's probably discontinued now this here is the finished look and I really hope that you enjoyed following me on my daily makeup routine